Hello, my name is Amanda Warner. Today is Monday, June 23rd, 2014. I am in the film degree program. The guy I choose to interview his name is Clayton Myers. He's from Frederick, Maryland. So he is a huge Ghostbusters fan, so if you love movies, let's jump right in. The first question I asked him was, what do you see as the role of the visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? So he's an actor, and in his opinion, art today has the same role it always has in society. Its purpose is to provide its maker slash performer the outlet of thought and feelings in some form of expression. In turn, that expression is intended to leave some sort of impact or impression on its audience. The second thing I asked him was, new communications and media technology make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on your field? He replied, it's a double-edged sword, with film being overshadowed by digital filming. The benefit is now more than ever. Anyone can make a movie. But the biggest problem with that is that now, more than ever, anyone can make a movie. However, it has made it difficult for the truly talented voices to be heard over the sounds of the loud and untrained, untalented, unmotivated. The value of work and collaboration has been diminished as a result. The new media has diminished our attention span. The industry people base their decisions on our money and as much as people whine and groan about another superhero movies, remakes, or sequels, our money doesn't back us up. We won't risk $12 to see a, to see a new movie because we won't want to waste two hours on something we don't know if we're going to like or not. We will gladly jump at Rush Hour 8 or Transformers 14 because we know that we are getting something good. The third thing I asked him was what popular images do you see that are frequently repeated throughout your industry? He replied, Unfortunately, I am like most who continually see the over-present objectification of women. They consistently, I am consistently thrown off by images of emanicated models posted like living mannequins, painted up to look like they are near death. They are barely dressed, and just when you wonder why you are looking at what could easily be an ad for a corpse, you realize what really is being advertised is ice cream, or a watch, or a car. It confuses me consistently. The other thing that I pay attention to often is movie posters. You can tell so much about a film by looking at its poster. The Photoshop does it steal the positioning or look of another more successful film? Almost always. Even down to the font. Why are these characters all holding guns to their faces? Things like that. I asked him, who is one of your favorite visual artists and what is your favorite style of visual art? Salvador Daly, he replied. He's a painter. He has never seemed limited by his use of lines or color. Each of his canvas and even unfinished sketches inspire a multitude of stories waiting to be told. The last thing I asked him was how has your knowledge of famous artwork influenced your creativity process? My knowledge is shamefully limited, he replied, but of the artwork I do know, I am truly influenced. Good art, true art. People don't create these things without passion backing them. The time, energy, life that is put into each sculpture, painting, and theater production. Film, there is a sacrifice. An offer to give and take. I give myself to art. Art provides me with a rich life. It forces me to appreciate the sunrise as I paint it. It takes me as an audience into lives and locations I would likely never go on my own. My job is to imagine. The art that others continue to give me provides me with a more vivid imagination to work with. So in the end, this is how Clayton views art in his industry.